Не ми знам. Hello guys. <laughs> It's Lucy Dreamer here with yet another indicator showcasing video. Today's indicator is going to be a moving average convergence divergence indicator which we call super smoothed MACD because as Quanch Özbek Gitch, the author of this indicator, <laughs> the king himself says, in the calculation of uh, MACD, instead of exponential moving averages, super smoothed prices were used and all these numbers are the periods that Quanch Özbek Gitch uh, recommends to use uh, super smoothed MACD with and uh, you can see that all these numbers are Fibonacci numbers and uh, all of them differs in terms of terms of trading like uh, some of them are short term uh, scalping kind of ish and some of them are longer term uh, periods and uh, in order to get signals uh, you can adjust yourself uh, to that it's 13 8 and 3 here with the default settings of super smooth and MACD and the most important thing is that uh, the prices are smoother the MACD is smoother but it gives signals uh, on and on and on again so uh, this much of a signalization ish kind of thing can be resulted in false signals so you either change the period in order to get uh, fewer signals or change your time frame let's check it out on a one hour chart and uh, I definitely recommend this indicator for scalping and I don't recommend uh, trading just by this because uh, it gives, gives whole a lot of signals so you need somewhat of a confirmation uh, from other aspects of technical analysis which I am uh, going to show you this indicator with Trendlines Pro uh, by Lansom de Blue Support and Resistance version 2 by Lansom de Blue again which I showcased both of these indicators in my channel as well and uh, volume based colored bars by the king Kwan Chosvigish himself doesn't mean that LTB is also a king this <laughs> let's go uh, as you can see the main way i would trade this indicator is uh would be around range of prices and uh, when prices hit uh, key levels of support resistance or uh, trend lines so let's check these candles and uh, see how it works tells us to sell here and then it goes it goes it goes it tells us to buy here if the red line crosses above blue it's a buy signal if it crosses the blue downside downwards it's our sell signal so uh, here we have a, a sell signal just like that our stop would be around here uh, we would want to this is the last token trendline support here so we would kind of aim to that and uh, we would have ourselves a nice scalping opportunity uh, this is especially important and uh, I don't really see a reason to use this indicator by itself that would be best to combine it with other indicators and that's my alert on TD sequential which I will talk about later especially scalping with TD sequential but uh, check this out you might really like it because I do and I even though I'm not trading with super symmetric MACD right now I used to for a, for a long time and I definitely think that it works at lower time frames sorry higher time frames as well for example uh, this is definitely a key level for the price the price dipped in the price dipped out and at this bar uh, our super, super smooth and MACD is telling us to buy as well so it uh, fly up of course uh, like this much of a pump that every other indicator would give us a buy signal so let's check out 
another chart. So here's our cell signal. Let's super smooth MACD. For comparison, I will just compare the super smooth of MACD with regular MACD. Where is the built-in MACD? Yep, here it is. Yep. You can like obviously see the difference, but uh, even though uh, this super smooth MACD is calculated with Ehlers super smooth filter, uh, in my opinion, one of the main reasons that the signalization is definitely a lot earlier than all of the other indicators is that the periods that we are using it with, right? So if I were to change my uh, regular make these periods to the same with my super smooth and make the then uh, <laughs> even though I'm not as smooth as super smooth and make the like this is why I'm showcasing you this indicator otherwise why would I write uh, you know you know my point and uh, make the Dima is also a good option to use uh, I may put dive deep on MACD-DIMA and I don't really like to use the default settings of MACD I change uh, every MACD I use I use volume weight MACD this time this is not but I do in my trading so if I were to make double exponential moving average convergence divergence MACD-DIMA at that settings, even though Super Smooth MACD is uh, telling us to buy a lot earlier than that, it happens to be a lot more volatile-ish and aggressive on the DIMA as well. So, uh, two key parts here at both scalping and Super Smooth MACDs being this effective on scalping is the Ehler Super Smoother filter and then us changing uh, the periods to lower Fibonacci numbers. That's it. Bye-bye.